Get ready team, this workout focuses on triceps, biceps, and abs. That's right, we're hitting it heavy today, working on those specific areas, going for that moderate to heavy load, because this is the game changer when you're looking to build muscle and increase that metabolism and burn more fat. Each move is done for 40 seconds with a 20 second transition. We do have three rounds to really get to that muscle fatigue. Equipment for this workout is gonna be a variety of dumbbells, a stability ball or a bench, ankle weights for the core moves, a mat and your amazing body. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you not miss any workouts. And if you want more content, yes, I know you do, make sure you click that join button below. Roll your shoulders back. We're gonna start off with a little step touch. Open and close the chest. How you feeling today? All right, we got triceps, biceps, and abs. As you're doing this movement, keep your eyes lifted. I never look back. We're gonna pull down on that right knee and that left knee in a moment. Pull down right knee, left knee, big reach in the arms. It's gonna help warm up the arms and your core. And then we're gonna be doing an inchworm. You're gonna come to the back of your mat, walk it out. So step to the back of your mat, round it down, walk out to your plank, and then you're walking it back, bending the knees, rolling up, reach up, round it down. And then you go at your pace here. And on this one, we're gonna stay out in our plank and just hold. Give me a down dog. And then back to plank. Knees or toes, push up. So if you wanna just drop to the knees, dropping chest to elbow height. Just take your time here. So if we're doing a tricep press up, you wanna have those hands in shoulder width apart, elbows rub your ribs. Inhale to lower, exhale to rise up. Down dog, walk it back. Bend your knees, roll it up. And then arms in T. Thumbs up, thumbs are down. And we are getting ready for this workout. We're gonna be focusing on the triceps first. So we're gonna be starting off with that skull crusher, using that stability ball or the mat. So you can lie down flat on the mat. We're taking that stability ball out. And I'm gonna go into, I think, 15 pounds in each hand for my skull crusher. We got three sets, 40 seconds of effort, and 20 seconds of rest. Weights are in your hands, you're gonna walk it out. Hips are lifted, arms are up, elbows are inside the frame of the body. You bend your elbows and then straighten the arms to the sky here. So what helps you out here is that you're, if you're on the ball, you have head and shoulders on the ball. Arms are extending all the way up to the ceiling. Hips are pressing up, driving through the heels of your feet. And get that good range of motion here. I'm gonna put my waist down, walk it back, and then just make any adjustments that you need to. So if you need to go a little bit heavier, things that can help you too. Like if you have one pound wrist weights, you could add some more resistance if you want to. Grab your weight, let's walk it back out or you're on the ground. Weights are up, knuckles up, bend your elbows, and then straighten it up. So it's just coming from the elbow joint. That's the only thing that's moving here. Remember, the 
goal is to get to that point where you're like, oh my God, I can't do anymore, right? Because then you need that break. Rep range is probably in that 15 set. Or you could be getting more too, you could be going faster. Great job. I was getting about 15, 16 reps. It is good to know your numbers, right? You can keep tabs on your waves, how many reps you're getting out. All right, take a deep breath. Here we go, last round. Walk it out, take that weight up. I want you to really focus on your technique here. Smooth and controlled movement. If they do get heavy, you can touch the dumbbells together. Sometimes that does help you to bang out a couple more reps. I'm starting to feel that struggle. Great job. All right, we just finished those three sets. Here's where we're gonna go. We're gonna go to a reverse grip kickback. And this one you're gonna stand up and hinge forward. Palms will face away from your body. And then weight-wise, I think I'm gonna go for my 12 and a half here. All right, you got your weights. All right, here we go. We're gonna drop that chest down. Hike the elbows by your ribs. And you do that kickback. So I like to have my hands right in the inside of the dumbbell because that dumbbell head is kind of fat. <laughs> it can hit your side of your leg. We don't want any bruising here. I'll turn to the side so you can just see. Back is almost parallel to the ground. Put some weight into your heel so you're not gonna dump into your low back here. And then what we want to not do is bring fist to, sh to the shoulder so that you're doing a bicep curl. I want you to stay in that tricep. All right, drop your weights. Shake out your arms if you need to. So again, make sure your hand right, is right by your elbow, by your rib. Get that arm as straight as you can. You can always change your hand grip. Let's pick up the weight. You can always go thumbs point out if you want to. And again, count your reps. See how many you're getting here. This is not a competition against me and you. Although I think some of you are, right? <laughs> You should be struggling at this moment. If you're not, hey, if you've got a heavier weight, go for it. Whew, all you gotta do is try. I'm gonna try my last set. With 15s, yeah. Oh, take that deep breath. Everybody's good. Grab your weights. Make sure that they say 15. Drop your chest. If you decided to grab heavier weights, pay attention to the rest of your body. Sometimes you engage a little more deeper in the core. Look out in front of your mat, lengthen through your neck here. And if you get to the point where you can't do any more, you know what I'm gonna say, you're done, right? Woo, all right, that was good, I like that. Give them a little stretch if you need to, get some water. We're gonna go into, oh, narrow grip bicep curls. Oh, sorry, 
dips. I almost forgot those. We got dips coming up. We're going to be using yoga blocks. If you don't want to be doing dips, you can do standing overhead or seated overhead extensions on your ball. Carol's my dip partner. You dipping with me too? Are you at home? Are you dipping with me? All right, let's dip it. Ooh, three sets after all that, all right? We can do it. Overhead extensions is the option, okay? You good with that? All right, could be one weight, could be two weights. Here we go. Now, in a dip, you could be on a chair, you could be on your bench, you could be on your ottoman. You could be doing overhead extensions, too. I have my hands pretty much underneath my shoulders, elbows bend, and then I extend in that dip. Pulling the abs up and in. Hopefully, if you've been doing this series with us, you're feeling stronger in those triceps or your whole entire body. Round one, no problem, right? My overhead extension people, how you doing on that weight? Okay, shake out your arms. If you're doing dips again, you can roll the wrist. You can open up the arms. All right, get in place. Grab your weights if you have them. All right, drop and rise it up. Things that can make it even harder, elevating your feet up on another bench can make it harder. So things that we don't want to see is that your butt's too far away from your ledge that you're having your dips on. That puts too much pressure inside that shoulder. It could rip it up. Not that it's going to rip it, but we don't want any injuries. Of all the exercises, this is the one I'm not counting. <laughs> I should count my, my last reps. All right. So this will be our last set. I do want you to make sure you feel like you're going for the max. Last movement for those triceps here. Position yourself. Here we go, girls. I'm gonna count. And you can count to yourself. If you're gonna be doing the dips, you're probably getting, you know, over that 20 mark. Come on, Liza, you got this. Make sure you're using your elbows, not dropping your shoulders. Your body is really smart. It knows how to cheat here. Bang them out, come on. 23, woo, nice job. Oh, Ooh, shake out your arms if you need to. Stretch them out. I need to stretch here. And now we're gonna get ready for a bicep curl. Just an upturn curl here. Gonna go for some heavy weights here. I'm gonna go for my 25s to start and then probably drop into 20. So grab what you need. You guys are good to go? All right. So we'll be up, turn in that bicep curl, shoulders roll them back. Brace your core. Oh God, this is heavy. Now you go at a pace that works for you. So even you guys in the garage, you don't have to do my pace. I'm gonna end up, I know, slowing down. I was like, did I grab 30s? No, for 25s. <laughs> Things that can help you at home, if you don't have heavier weights, do the seated or kneeling on your knees. All right, I got 13, I'm gonna stay with 
25 for the second set. Lengthen your arms out. Having range of motion helps you out too with gaining that muscle and prevents injury. Pick it up. Make sure when you come to the top, you're gonna squeeze fist to shoulder. I'm doing a little bit of assistance, all right? And that's okay to do every now and then, just not every time you're lifting. I'm gonna get one more. Oh. Nice job, I'm gonna stick with it. Does it make you want to do this? Anybody? All right, let's pick up those ways. Last set. Job. All right, we're gonna set yourself up for preacher's curl. Oh, if you're at the gym, you can actually use the preacher's bench. We're gonna use our stability ball. You can lean a little bit forward if you need to. That is preacher curl. Last set is failure set here. I'm gonna have my 12 and a half in front of my ball. All right. Ooh, feeling that, right? Get yourself stomach on the ball. Weights are in front of that ball. Gotta kinda open up your legs to help you out. Elbows on the ball, palms are up. Bringing that weight toward the forehead. And then don't let it touch the ground. Unless you need it to, right? So this is kind of a shorter range of motion. Really isolating the bicep even more. Feels like the dumbbells come to my eyes. You have some engagement when you have your stomach on the ball in your glutes. They're gonna help to stabilize you. Open your feet up. Ooh, how many reps are you getting? I got like 13, I think. Anybody else counting? Yeah. But that 13, 12, that's a good rep range, especially when we're gaining that muscle here. We're putting on muscle. You're not putting on extra weight. Whew, here we go. Get into position. So what happens when we're building muscle, right? It does stoke your metabolism with your resting rate metabolism. So that throughout your day, you're burning more calories because you have more muscle mass. And then you need to feed it, right? Good sources of protein. That should be on the top of your priority list and getting good sleep. Now, you can drop the weight for the last set, or you can stay with what you have. So typically, you would drop. I'm gonna stay, I think, uh, I'm gonna go 10s. Anybody got 10s I can use? All right, you got 10s? I'm gonna do 10s. We're gonna go beyond the timer here. Okay, get in position. So we're gonna go for almost a full minute now. So once the timer goes off at that 40 seconds, we're still gonna keep going. 
Now, I have my dumbbell heads pressing together. That's gonna add some more resistance too. And if, here's just a little tip. If you're able to go beyond 40 with the weights that you've been using for the last two sets, they weren't heavy enough. Okay, we're gonna still continue on. Because if you can keep doing more, that's just a sign that, hey, you could have you could have gotten heavier these first two sets. Oh, well, it made you think, right? You're like, oh God. Come on, three seconds. Oh, oh that's it. Nice job. Woo! Here's where we're gonna go. We're gonna be getting our ankle weights on. And I'm gonna make sure I have two heavy weights at the end of my mat so that I can anchor on for my leg lifts. They're gonna alternate. So make sure that you have either something you can anchor on. My weights are weighing in at three pounds. And then you're gonna lie down on the ground. You can start with the weight at the bottom, legs at the bottom for harder, or legs up at the top. So hug the knees into the chest, pick where you want your feet to start, extend them, and then alternate one leg and then the other. Okay, we do not need to go to the beat of the music. Slow it down, there we go. That is six. I exhale, my leg goes up, inhales, it lowers down. And if you're able to go to the tempo, you're, you need to slow it down. Seriously, it makes it harder. The workout police will come to your house right now. I got you for one more. And knees in. Give it a good hug. All right, second set. We're gonna we're gonna go for 30 reps here. So try to relax your neck. Sometimes it depends on your ponytail where it is. You can turn your head to one side and then the other side. And again, it helps to anchor your hands to something heavy. All right, hold on to something that's gonna give you some stabilization here. Knees into the chest. Pick where you want your legs to start, bottom or top, and start. Here's my tempo. Up, release, four. Go into the waist here. You're gonna have that arch in your low back. Believe me, if your back is completely flat, flat, I'll be like impressed. <laughs> That is 20, we got 10 to go, or if you need to, you stop. Two to go. And you should feel like that. Oh, right? Did you feel like that? Woo! Okay, we're gonna go into a double crunch using a weight. I think I'm gonna pick. Oh, actually, let's not use a weight because I think we should use our arms behind our head. If you have some neck tension, it's a great opportunity to take a towel behind your neck and then you can hold on to the sides. That just gives you a good support here. Feet start kind of the width of your mat. And as you come up in that sit up, right, the knees come into the chest, elbows tap the thighs, and then you release back down. Are you ready? Big inhale, exhale, we're up. Open the feet, tap down, 
bring it back in. So my feet touch the floor, and then I come back up. And you're trying again to touch elbows to your thighs. One more and relax. Ooh, that gets a little bit deeper into that lower abdomen area. Make any adjustments that you need to. I'm gonna readjust my shorts here. Oh, take a deep breath here. Hands behind the bread, the bread, the head. <laughs> what am I thinking of? I want some bread. <laughs> okay, go for some seedy bread here. All right, we're taking a big inhale. Here we go. <laughs> All right, focus in the core, not the bread. You deserve a, some bread after this workout. You need those complex carbohydrates with protein. More. Let's do 25. Twenty-five. Nice job. Woo! Ah, oh, take off those ankle weights. Big inhale, reach the arms out and up. Bring them down. Do it again, big inhale, reach it up. Taking that right arm, straight arm reach, and then tricep stretch. Push your hips forward, and then you're gonna lean a little bit to that left side. Bring it down, and then let's take that left arm, bring it up. Tricep stretch. Again, hips go forward. Open up your eyes a little bit to the ceiling and then side stretch. Let it go. Take that right arm, extend it out, fingers down. And switch that. You can even really spread those fingers. And then arms out in T, thumbs reach back. Thumbs reach down, kind of wringing out the arms. And then ragdoll down. Open up into straddle. Keep your left hand down, open up the right arm. Switch that. Both arms down, stay in straddle for a moment. Reach the arms in front. Spread your fingers. Walk it in, heel toe the feet in, or just step them in, roll it up. Big inhale, reach it up. Reach it back. Pull it into your heart. And take one big inhale here and let it out. Oh my gosh, how do your arms feel? I hope they feel as amazing as mine. Mine are feeling pretty stoked here. Again, always check with the weight that you're using and it's challenging you and then make sure you refuel, recharge your body after this workout too. You can go and have that bread with peanut butter and honey because you know what? Your body needs it, it deserves it. You guys have an awesome day. Thank you to my crew. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Liza. Thank you, Catherine. 
Thank you, Cheeky. Thank you, Diane. Yeah, we had to come inside today because it's been rainy here. If you enjoy this workout, do make sure that you thumb it up, comment below, share this with a friend. And if you don't have a stability ball yet, I'm telling you what a great tool to have. Look, at, look in the description box below. There's information there on the ball that we use. We'll see you at the next workout. Take care.